Hi friends, this is uh, Oracle DBA. This is your DBA DBA Rocks, and uh, in this tutorial, we would uh, learn about uh, how to create uh, a table space and uh, how to drop the table space as well. First, we'll create a table space, and and then we are going to drop uh, the table space. Uh, now, uh, let's go and do some table space tests. Yes. So, Make sure that uh, you are uh, entering the right SID number. Yes, now let's see. It's DBA. Now start up. Start up. And uh, after uh, the database is open, make sure that uh, you check the uh, name of the database because that's very important. You want to make sure whether you are connected to the right database name um, v dollar database this is the command where you can type yes we it's our DBA now let us see uh, what are the users and uh, default table space available and also see what are the data files first present in this uh, database select name from v dollar data file so there are overall seven uh, uh, you know, uh, data files are available at this time, uh, and uh, we have gone. We are going to create a new database. I mean, sorry, new table space. So you can just check uh, what are the users and uh, their default table spaces available at this time in this database. Select username default underscore table space from DBA underscore users will get you the details so you can just see the left side of your window you can see the uh, users and right side of the window you can see the default table space so let's connect to h1 h1 which is which default table space is tb h1 is this one connected you make sure that you are connected to the right user show user will show you the user now now first we have to see whether this h1 has that privilege to create the table space create a new table space like start from session underscore privs will show you the privileges associated with the h1 now we can see the second uh, privilege which is create table space so yes uh, h1 can uh, create uh, a new table space so now just type in s table space and give the name as uh, TS TS2 data file and give the path slash TS2 dot DBF size 30 m by default it is uh, a locally managed table space uh, you can just type in as uh, see table space created and uh, now you can just go and check physically logically we have created and we have to check whether the physical physically what we have created is existing or not See, look, we got this ts2.dbf is what we have created, and we can see here ts2.dbf in the physical file system. So we can just get back again and also check check here in the. Let us see. So we start from the other data file. Actually, we have to type it from the sys uh, user. This command should be typed from the sys user. But uh, select, we have to. No, that was a wrong statement. I'm sorry. Oops. Save name from V dollar data file. But V dollar might get you to the correct. Yes. See, earlier we we got seven, and now it is eight. So you can just go go upwards and check 
Okay, I guess I lost it. Maybe. Okay, that's fine. Earlier it was seven, and now we have created a new table space uh, with name TS2. TS2 is a new data file, I think. New data file and uh, new table space is TS2. Now we can just say next uh, next this DB we have created a new table space in TS2 with the data file TS2 dot DB. Yes. See here we can see here we can see the TS2 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 table space which we have created right now. And uh, now we can drop the same. Now we have created and now I will show you how to drop this uh, uh, table space. Let us see first whether we can drop uh, the created table space from the user h1 uh, let's just check I'm not sure about that as well let's see now, drop table first we have to bring down I mean uh, get the table space offline then drop it so alter table space the table space TS2 offline insufficient privileges. See, this can be done only through this user. Okay. I'm sorry, connects slash s. This is what we have to type it. This DB. Now uh, we have to type in as alter table space TS2 offline. See table space after alter now drop table space TS2. Now we'll just check the next name from read honor. Read honor data file. See, we only have uh, seven rows. Earlier it was eight. Now we'll check whether select name from read honor table spaces. See, we don't have that TS2 table space earlier. Earlier, we saw that there is a TS2 table space up here, which I'm gonna show you now. See, earlier you can see this TS2, TS2 here, and uh, now when you see there is no TS2, and uh, but in the physical file system we can still find this ts2.dbf available here so we have to manually remove this rm ts2.dbf uh, it is removed and see now we don't have anything at this time so this is it this is how you have to create a table space and uh, can drop a table space hope you guys have learned something thank you very much and you have a great day thanks bye